so when you treat allergy, there's, there's really three basic treatments you should start with, okay? And uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, clean your nose out. So I know it sounds weird, but the first thing you should do is get uh, over-the-counter irrigation product, like this Neomed bottle. Okay. And it's just, it's just distilled water and salt. Salt comes in the bottle, right? And you're going to wash out your nose. I'll give you an example. So if you were hiking and you were, went through some poison ivy, and you got poison ivy all over your leg, right? I know you're going to put some medicine on that, right? But what are you going to do first? Wash it, right? You're going to wash out the poison ivy, and then you're going to put your mess in. So what you want to do is wash out all those allergens you've been breathing in all day. And that's why you usually feel better if you shower or go swimming. Your nose usually feels better if you have allergies because it's clean, right? So you wash your nose first. And then after you do that, then you're going to, you should put a topical uh, steroid in your nose. They do sell over-the-counter ones like Flonase or, or Nasonex, right? So you put topical steroid in your nose. And the reason you want to do that is topical steroids block the allergy reaction in the first place. So a lot of people do what you do. They take like Claritin only or they'll take right. a Zyrtec only. And those are good products. They block histamine, okay? But histamine is a product of an allergic reaction, okay. right? It's one of the many things that are produced. So steroids block the whole reaction from happening in the first place. The oral antihistamines, you take that once a day and it blocks the histamine that's in your nose that's creating a lot of the symptoms that you have. So if you wake up on Tuesday, you feel good with just rinsing and a steroid, you don't take it. But if you're having a bad day, you get exposed to something, maybe the pollens are high in the, that day, you get around an animal that you're allergic to, then you would take this to help your symptoms. And some people need to do all that every day because they just have really bad allergies, okay? So you can titrate this one to how you feel. If you can't breathe through your nose, and if you're congested, mm -hmm. and you're taking all these things and you're still feeling you can't breathe, mm -hmm. you can also try a decongestant, okay? So there's two main varieties of decongestants. There's oral ones, okay? So the kind of popular is a pseudo, uh, phenylephrine or pseudoephedrine. Phenylephrine is the one you can get over the counter in the aisle, that's easily accessible. Right. And then pseudoephedrine is over the counter, but you have to get it from the pharmacist, give them your driver's license. They have to record who buys it. The way decongestants work is they constrict blood vessels in your nose, right. and so they give you more room to breathe. So on an as-needed basis, now and then, they're fine. But if you're needing these drugs all the time, then you really need to see an ENT. So this is like a liquid version of the pill. Okay. And those you, um, you spray into your nose. And they work the same way, they constrict blood vessels, but same issue is if you take it too much, too much being more than just a few days per month or several months, then you probably need to see an ENT get an examination. So steroids block inflammation, safe for long-term use. Oral decongestants constrict blood vessels, completely different. So that's why if you have high blood pressure, you're not supposed to take them. Because if you constrict all the blood vessels in your body, your blood pressure, yeah, it goes up. So if you have a history of high blood pressure, you should not take oral or topical decongestants, okay. which eliminates a lot of patients. A lot of people have high blood pressure. If your symptoms are only in your nose, so you're, you, know, you don't have rashes or itchy legs or you know, skin, then instead of taking a Zyrtec or a Claritin or Allegra, which is in your bloodstream, you use a topical antihistamine. If your problem's in your nose, then let's treat the nose, and you do that with topical steroids, topical antihistamines, and uh, washing your nose.